hello again. I'm Dustin from Guys With Games, and here's my next game. It's called Bouncing Letter Pig, okay? First thing I do is divide the class into groups. Group one, group two, group three, four, five, six. I'm the teacher, group seven. I give them each a letter, okay? Let's say I go first. I have to say a word that starts with one of these letters. If I say cucumber, now it is team two. It is their turn to say another word that starts with any of these other letters. They are gonna get five seconds to say a word, and if they can't, they're gonna get a P. If they get pig, they're out. Helium. Uh, llama. Mm. One, two, Game. three. Alphabet. One. Goat. Uh, amazing. One. Hey, Paul, pass on this. One. Goose. Living. Groovy. Hope. Five. Gentle. Hyphen. Gender. Five. Four. <laughs> Gonads. <laughs> Homo milk. <laughs> Okay, the variation I like to play of this game is instead of just focusing on one single letter and a target vocabulary for that letter, I will not assign them anything, really. Each individual team only gets a number. You need to make sure they know what number of team they are. So team one, two, three, four, five, six. Again, the teacher's here. And maybe I'll draw the whiteboard just to help them orient the map, so to speak. And then I will give them a category. So I'll usually give them an example category. We'll play one time just for example. And something easy to lead off with to help them understand is, let's say, give me an example of a color. And then maybe I'll say, team number one, tell me one color. So maybe they say red. Okay, red. Great, that is an acceptable answer. You are team one, you need to choose another number. So their answer is two parts. They need to say an answer to that category and then choose another number. But again, it could be anybody at any time. So in this one, I play with X's. So if they say blue, four, and then four says red, seven is my turn. Orange, two. Two can't think of an answer, I give them an X. And then if it goes around again, we choose a different category. You would pick your categories based on the level, which makes this game suitable for anybody, really. But some good examples maybe would be uh, animal names, fruits, um, holidays, things like that. It depends on how advanced your students are. Anyway, after you play several categories, you'll end up with several teams having two X's. And they get eliminated from the game. And so the variant that makes it speed up faster and finish more quickly is that if someone under the five, four, three, two, one pressure says team uh, blue two, well there is no team two, so they get an X just for saying a team that wasn't mean the thing. It speeds it up and it makes it go by faster. A lot of time we don't have 20, 25 minutes to play a game. It needs to be shorter but still pique their interest. So I like doing it this way. But it works the same way as tell me a letter, a word that starts with whatever letter. And so yeah, that's it.